What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now check it out, I know you didn't seen that thumbnail, you didn't read that title, right? Listen, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. Look, we're gonna do a white mac and cheese, so let's get it. As you guys can see, look, it's not a whole lot of ingredients and don't forget, all of the ingredients will be down in the description box below. So look, we'll start right here. Look, this is just smoked white cheddar cheese. Over here we got smoked gouda. Obviously we got salt. Love my little salt, I like to do my little pinches. Fresh black cracked pepper. Look, this right here, look, this is heavy cream. If you guys don't have heavy cream, you can go ahead and use whole milk. We got flour, butter, and then we got mustard powder, right? And then of course, you know we talking about mac, right? So we gotta have these right here, these are our noodles. And speaking of noodles, I'm gonna go ahead, I got my water already, you know, working. It's already boiling, right? Now I'm gonna give it a little stir because I don't want nothing to stick. Now I'm gonna bring this back to a boil and I'm gonna cook my noodles to the instructions that's on this, you know, right here on the package, right? Listen, I usually say al dente, but we're not gonna finish these up in the oven. We're gonna cook them just like the instructions say, and then we're gonna move on. Okay, so look, I just took my top off. You know, my instructions said for these right here to go for about seven to nine minutes. So I picked eight. So let's go ahead and take this off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my colander, you know, shocking with that cold water to keep it from cooking. And then we are gonna move over to the next step. I already put my uh, my noodles, they, they're in the colander. You know what I mean? I had to get them so, that, you know, that I shocked them with that cold water, right? So they don't continue to cook. Now, I want you to look right here. This is my milk. What I did was my milk, remember this is heavy cream. I told you guys, you guys can also do, uh, you can do whole milk also, but listen, you want to put it in the microwave for me. I just went ahead and warmed it up. I put it in there for about almost two minutes, right? You do not want to boil it. We just want to get that going, right? So now what I'm gonna do is let's put this, let's get some heat under here. I'm gonna start with like a medium sized heat. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with my butter. We're gonna go ahead and get this milk. Now, I'm gonna start introducing my flour. So remember, you can follow me for a minute, especially my new people. It's just, we wanna put a little bit in as, at a time, right? You just want this flour to absorb some of this butter, right? And you wanna just keep moving it around, cook some of that flour taste out also. I'm loving what I'm seeing right here, folks. We should be at a low heat now. So then you wanna go ahead and add your warm milk to it, just like this. And we just wanna get it all incorporated together. Just like you see. Now I'm just gonna move this around and get everything to incorporate, you know, together and get it nice and smooth. Now you wanna add your salt and pepper. Right, so you want to give it a couple of pinches here. And we just start there. Don't forget, check your heat. Make sure we on a low setting, right? We add a little pepper to it. A lot of you guys ask me questions about, you know, what kind of pots and stuff do I use? This right here, these are made by Hexclad, right? These are like a little bit, a uh, little bit on the higher end, you know? But I can tell you this, you can use, one of the things that br really brought my attention to it was, you can use metal utensils inside of this. And nothing has ever stuck to this. I'm gonna go ahead and add my mustard, my powder, get that in there. Give this a good mix. And now we're gonna come with that cheese, folks. That's what y'all been waiting on. We just wanna introduce a little bit at a time, right? Just like this, and we'll just let this, you know, melt. I, it, no particular order. I just ha happened to be that I started with the Gouda. The smoked cheddar. And then we just keep introducing this till we got about two cups of cheese in here and it's all melted. Now you wanna talk about a creamy sauce? This is it right here. You see that right there? That's what you want. You wanna talk about the money shot? Ooh wee. I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and just let y'all take that in. Look at this. Now we're gonna introduce our noodles right here. You know what I mean? So check this out, folks. So for some of you guys, I know y'all wanna go ahead and take it and you wanna put it in the oven, you can do that too. You see how I saved some of this over here on the side, some cheese, you can go ahead, put some on the top. But if you ask me, if you want something nice and creamy, this right here is the way to go. You know what I mean? Then we're gonna to top this with a little parsley. But again, I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet and we just finna stir and mix. And I'm finna let you guys your mind take over. Now we're just gonna transfer this over. Let me get this like this. And 
this is what we're gonna serve it in folks but this right here when i tell you it's creamy it's creamy so i'm gonna go ahead and take my knife because look we want to get it to be just right right and so when i say just right that includes a presentation also just want to let you know you guys can look down at the number one you know comment that's where i usually pin everything so if you guys are interested in getting this knife right here you guys can see the knife right there you see it right there where it says smoking and grilling with me a b this is it right here this is my signature series knife along with this board right here let me just move this out the way hey i got i know you guys saying hey what a plug but that's what it is listen my signature series boards i'm almost caught up with my pre-orders and i think this friday we can take it off a pre-order they made right when you order them they go out and i want to say thank you to everybody so with that being said we finna get this after tasting this already i'm gonna go ahead and just hit it over the top nice and light why i love the taste of it but secondly listen it looked great tell me what you guys think that right there that should do it folks if your mouth ain't watering right now i'm telling you something that's broke number one hands down the best mac and cheese all right so look now we'll just go ahead and take some of this parsley put this over the top just like you see just to give it a little green make it pop especially all my new my new chefs out there check this out folks we gotta always have green onion and we gotta always have parsley if you have that combination i promise you everything you make once everybody see it they're gonna say how fire that is but that right there folks that's it Hey, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and do this taste test for y'all. For one, I get to reap the benefit from getting it, you know, going ahead and hitting it again. I'm only gonna hit it once because I put it in the serving bowl, you know what I mean? And so I'm gonna let everybody get some of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go like this. But when I tell you, it's starting to get cold. But when I tell you, look at that, I want you guys to come in right there. If you guys like cheese, you like something to be like super over the top, you know, like cheesy, this white mac and cheese with these white cheeses, it's gonna do it, folks. Hey, but with that being said, I'm gonna quit running my mouth. I'm not gonna over talk it. Let's get it. This never gets old. Again, folks, I got the best job in the world, and I know it ain't fair. Hey, with that being said, let me just tell you what I get right when I first put it in my mouth, right? So when you take it, you put it in your mouth, you want to talk about the smoke, right? So we use smoke cheddar, and then we got smoke gouda, right? Something about that combination, you know, along with the roux and all of that. As soon as you put it in, when you kind of like it inhale, it kind of like reminds me of some bacon. Now, speaking of bacon, let me just say this. If you wanted to level this up for those of you guys that do eat that pork, check it out. Ask yourself this, where is my thick cut bacon, right? Because you could have fried that bacon first, got your bacon, then use, when you made your roux, you could have used a couple of tablespoons of that bacon fat to go along with that just to enhance the flavor and ooh wee. Guess what folks, AB is giving up the game today. Hey, with that being said, listen, Try this. This is a little bit over the top. And if for those of you guys want to sprinkle some over the top, you can do that. Throw it in the oven for about five, 10 minutes and see what you come up with there. But right now, I'm telling you, when you say creamy, this is what I'm talking about. Now, with that being said, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like, smash that subscribe button. And I want you guys to tell everybody out there, listen to this. It's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, I'm going to hit these cupboards. I'm finna go ahead and give me a bowl. I'm finna put some of that in a bowl. And I'm finna eat, folks. And guess what? I'm out. Peace.